Welcome to UBP TV. While global growth continues to improve, it is still not yet strong enough to achieve escape velocity. This, in our view, uh, means that central banks will have to remain extremely accommodative, as indeed was demonstrated by the Federal Reserve at the end of last month, when they decided not to taper their asset purchases, with one eye on the problems related to the debt ceiling in the US. Inflation remains low, central banks will remain accommodative, and this will help, in time, uh, the economy to strengthen further, putting upward pressure on bond yields. So our recommendation for fixed income remains to keep duration extremely low and to focus on credit strategies such as high yield and on unconstrained non-directional bond strategies which should do well in the current environment. With the, uh, the Fed on hold with its asset purchases and with the uh, ECB uh, still holding off from further accommodation, this is putting upward pressure on the euro short term However, uh, looking forward to the end of this year and beginning of next, we see the uh, dollar beginning to strengthen again against the euro. The Japanese yen uh, will continue to be under pressure, although the rate of decline will be slower than it has been in recent months. Our preferred currency does remain, however, the US dollar. Looking at hedge funds, we've had um, a pickup in the mega deal with uh, major operations announced in recent weeks uh, surrounding Dell, uh, Verizon or the Dutch uh, telco uh, KPN. This is uh, increasing the opportunity set for event-driven managers, uh, which is an area that our specialists are highlighting this month. In addition, long short stock pickers, especially those with a long bias, and global macro managers with trading skills will continue to do well in this environment. Gold remains stuck in its trading range. The weakness in emerging market currencies is making it more expensive for purchasers, for example, in India. And as the global economy improves, demand for safe haven assets such as gold has diminished somewhat. On the other side of the equation, uh, production costs from world gold mines have risen markedly in recent years. In addition, uh, gold mine exploration has thrown up very few new uh, major discoveries which constrains supply going forward and demand from uh, emerging world central banks remains strong. In the longer term we think uh, gold will retain its role as an anchor, a protector of value in portfolios and so we recommend keeping positions unchanged this month. And finally on equities. Equities have done well since we raised our allocation back in July. They're up almost 8% uh, since then. That rise has been driven by uh, rising valuations and not by increases in anticipated earnings per share. The next phase in the bull market in equities, we think, will be driven by an improved outlook for earnings in line with the improved global economy we see next year. In particular, uh, European earnings have great operational leverage and we think that will help support the positive outlook for European equities over global equities uh, for the end of this year and beyond. In the immediate future, as we get towards the debt ceiling in the US, we feel that volatility could rise somewhat in markets and we anticipate using that volatility to add to our positions reinforcing our positive view for equity markets in 2014. So to summarize, we prefer equities over all other asset classes. In bonds, we keep duration extremely low. Within equities, we prefer developed market to emerging market. Within developed markets, we prefer Europe and Japan over the US. And within Europe, we continue to prefer the periphery markets over the core. Thank you.